Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is part two of how to make homemade marshmallows. The marshmallows have been chilling in the fridge for about three hours until they're firm. Well, as firm as marshmallows can get at least. So I'm gonna take them out of the refrigerator and we're gonna come over here to the counter. You can kind of see when you press, you feel a firmness. And take a thin spatula or a knife around the edges. All right. And then we're going to flip this over. It's not gonna come out exactly easily. So just get your spatula or your knife underneath and work the bottom. Until it's about halfway and then lower it so that it doesn't fold over on the top of itself. And just keep working. There we go. It's all the way out of the pan. Now, I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar on top because it's moist and the powdered sugar will take away that moisture. And then throw the rest of the powdered sugar right into the large bowl. Oops, you're supposed to sift it into the large bowl. <laughs> I always make this mistake, so I always have to pour it back out and sift it, because you don't want any chunks. So just sift it all in there. Okay, we have our sifted powdered sugar. What's a recipe without mistakes? <laughs> now I'm gonna grab a pizza cutter. You can do this with a knife, or I found it's a little easier with a pizza cutter, and cut our marshmallows into cubes. The size of your cubes are up to you. I like to do them about one inches. Okay, we have our cubed marshmallows, and we're gonna toss them all and split them up into our sifted powdered sugar. We're just gonna coat these really good. I've got a couple of huge marshmallows, so I'm gonna cut those up. Okay, now we have all of these in here, and we're just gonna toss really good. And don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. It's always more fun with your hands than spoons. All right, once you feel like they're all coated pretty well and you don't feel any moisture, then you are ready to serve. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips here. Um, they're really good just as a snack, but they're amazing in hot chocolate. And if you uh, just want to put them on a stick, like a chopstick, you can torch them so regular marshmallows that you get from the store, they burn when you torch them. But these, they just caramelize, so it's pretty amazing. It tastes like creme brulee. Now, you taste. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so amazing. Okay, a quick tip. Throw these back in the refrigerator. You can serve them or eat them right away, but if you leave them in the refrigerator for a couple more hours, all the moisture is gonna go away. And then give them to friends, family, or just keep them all for yourself. <laughs> I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Geek Breed Fast Credits. Yeah. I think you've got powdered sugar on your chin. Oh, of course I do. Probably have it everywhere. <laughs>